one thing that I really wanted to get from Sephora was this. I don't know if you guys have heard about this facial cleanser, um, but Jaclyn Hill talked about how this is really good to clean your makeup brushes with because honestly, why would you want to clean your makeup brushes with something that you wouldn't feel safe putting on your face? Um, so I think it's a really good idea that you use this, a facial cleanser, as a brush cleaner. And it really does smell pretty good. It doesn't have that much of a scent, but it definitely smells clean and it's natural. So that's what I also like about this. The Expert 2012 Reader's Choice Award winner. So it's definitely highly recommended. I've washed my brushes with this actually when I got my glove finally because I got this first. Um, I, and then I got my glove and I love them together and it makes my brushes so soft, so clean. Basically all you have to do is just sanitize it after and then you're good to go. And the next thing that I got at Sephora is this makeup breakup cool cleansing oil. Um, it says for all skin types. I actually was going out, like, you know, the aisle where they have all of the stuff right before you're about to go spend a million dollars already. Pretty sure I spent ten dollars on this. Peppermint and eucalyptus invigorates the senses with rose hip, green tea, and golden palm oils. Unclog pores and refine the skin's texture. Once I saw peppermint, I was like, okay, well, I definitely need to try this out. So then I like went up to the front and the girl actually who's cashing me out was like, oh my god, I love this stuff. You're going to love it so much. I never liked makeup removers that were really oily. This one does feel clean though and then smell clean. And all you do after is like you don't leave it on your skin, you wash it off. And basically what I do is I use this before I get into the shower. And then I get in the shower and wash my face. I don't know, try it out. If you guys have $10 to spend and you want a good makeup remover, um, definitely try this out. Final thing that I got... I ordered it online because the date that it was coming out, I was like, I'm not going to make it to the store in time and it's probably going to be sold out because everybody loves this girl who made it. If you guys follow Jaclyn Hill, you would know that she came out with her own highlighter um, with Becca. It's called Champagne Pop and like even the packaging is gorgeous. Like if you guys can see, it has like little droplets and it looks like, you know, it gives an illusion of champagne. And I have not, like, used this yet. I've been waiting and waiting to show you guys in the video. So now that I am showing you, I'm definitely going to go drown myself in it because that's what she likes to do in, like, almost every video since she's been able to tell us about it. A little bit about her, and it has a cute little picture of her. It says, I'm so excited to present to you my dream shade of a very bright highlighter on the market. Sweep across your face or apply to targeted areas, including cheekbones, brow bones, and bridge of nose. Be sure to let me know what you think and hashtag, hashtag champagne pop, hashtag define your light. It has Becca on it and then it has her signature on it. Um, and then this is the highlighter.